Hey, I'm Tony Cacera. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to install or replace uh, the SSD in Valve's new Steam Deck OLED. It's very similar to the old Steam Deck LCD, but there is a little bit of a difference when it comes to the actual installation inside the deck. So I just wanted to go through how I did it. There's not really an official guide out there for this yet. I fix it is the guide that I was using as sort of my starting point. Um, but they don't cover how to deal with the added complexity of the wires now being glued to the back plate. So I thought I'd show you how I did it. Now, before we get started, there's a couple things that I have here. One is the case that the Steam Deck came in because uh, I want to put it face down to protect the joysticks while we're doing this. These are the tools that I'm gonna be using. This is a really cheap screwdriver precision kit uh, from Amazon. They don't make this one anymore, but there's one that looks exactly the same, but orange, it's linked down below. This is a pry kit for my fix it. This is super necessary for helping to get this open. You can also use a credit card if you don't mind it getting damaged, but really I like to use this instead because it's a little bit thinner and safer. It's like $9.99 on Amazon, totally worth buying. And I don't keep a magnetic screw holder thing. I'm just, I don't know, I've never gone around to buying one. So I use a paper plate to keep track of my screws. Um, you definitely don't want to lose them. They're very small. So at least just having like a paper plate with a raised rim means that you're unlikely to lose them. So before we actually even open this up, we need to do uh, something in the BIOS to make sure that we don't accidentally uh, enable our Steam Deck while we're opening it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to hold the power and the plus volume button together until we get into the BIOS. So we go to setup. We go down to battery storage mode, but I'm going to bypass doing this because my battery is above 80%. Ideally, you should work yours down below 80% before enabling this mode. I'm just going to be extra careful, I guess. So I like to use the case that came with the Steam Deck uh, so that the joysticks are properly supported. Hey everyone, Editing Tony here. I just wanted to point out that leaving your SD card in your Steam Deck will make it pretty much impossible to pull the case apart as you're about to see about a minute from now in the video. Uh, just go ahead and remove your SD card before you get started on this. It'll make everything a whole lot easier. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to use a Torx 6, size 6 bit. If you're doing this with Steam Deck LCD, you have to keep track of where each screw goes because the thread count is higher on some of the screws than the others. Because these are all now Torx 6, I believe they're all the same length and thickness. And basically when you're unscrewing this, you don't want to give it a lot of, of, uh, of power, just enough to get it released. Like I said, use your paper plate if you don't have a magnetic pad to keep all of them in place. Okay, now that we've removed all eight screws, I'm gonna move them to the side just because. Uh, and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open uh, the Steam Deck. So this is where the pry tools really come in handy here. And we've got a bunch of these. They're basically guitar picks. This is what I like to use to open the Steam Deck with. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it on its side. And basically where the case meets these bumpers up here, this is a really good place to get access into the case. So what I'll do is I'll slide uh, this pick in here. It's okay to go slow. Take your time with this. You don't want to break it. Uh, the plastic is pretty resilient. Uh, okay, so I did have to give it a little bit of extra pull without the pick. Big mistake. Big mistake. Do not make the mistake that I just made, which is I left my SD card in here while I was doing this. That may very well damage your Steam Deck and that may be why it was actually not coming off. Okay, well, it came off. Now we're looking at the open Steam Deck here. Basically at this point, what you wanna do is bring your attention to the back shielding plate here. Uh, basically what we're going to do is remove this. Now in the old LCD, you could just remove this and pull it off, but note something. We have this ribbon cable that is actually glued to this back plate. So you can't remove this from it, or you could, but I don't recommend it. What I would recommend doing is working around it. Uh, there's also a little wire on the other side. You wanna work around that too. We can use our same Torx 6 screwdriver and you're gonna see that there are three screws here. One, two, wait, where's the third one? Three, right there. And we're going to remove these. Putting on my paper plate. One, two, whoa. and three. I do think that they are all the same size but it's just not worth risking it just in case there's a slight difference. And now at this point, we're gonna start what is maybe one of the harder parts of this. So we're going to uh, pull this up 
this metal shield. And you're gonna see that like this little leg down here gets caught. You're gonna need to pull that up. Make sure that nothing is getting caught here as you pull it up. Um, and the first thing we wanna do is we wanna disconnect the battery because we don't want this booting up while we're in the process of it. So uh, you can kind of pull it back. There's this little tassel here. I have tried pulling on it and I swear to God, I feel like I'm gonna pull the entire cable off of it without actually removing it from here. You can also use like one of these little spudger tools to get into the groove, the plastic groove there and give it a little pull just to loosen it. And I can see it's already coming out. Go slow with this. You don't need to rush. You don't need to give it a lot of power either because you run the, the chance of damaging something else inside of the machine here. So just take your time, breathe. If it's getting frustrating, take a, just take a minute, maybe walk away for a minute. Now, when it is out, you can just give it a pull and now the battery is disconnected. Now I'm gonna let this hang out here. And the next thing I'm gonna do is free the SSD, which is here behind the plate, but this plate, I can't move, it's stuck. So what I'm gonna do is pull it up like this, take our same Torx 6 screwdriver, and I'm going to release the hard drive first before removing it. So I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna take the screw. This one fortunately is very unique. It's not gonna be mis or, sorry, mistaken for any of the others. And then we're gonna just lift our plate here and we can basically slowly pull this drive out. It has to be at an angle. And then you'll see we have the hard drive right here. Everything from here is gonna be pretty easy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the shielding off of our hard drive and we're gonna get our replacement hard drive and we're going to put this back on top of it the way we found it, which is the little top of the crown is going to go where the screw side is. We're going to leave the flat side with the side that connects to the PCIe. Coming back to our Steam Deck here with our replacement hard drive, what we wanna do is Take the SSD and you're gonna put it with the, the single notch bit off to the right. And you're just gonna slide it in there like this. You can even push it down a little bit as you're attaching it, that's fine. And that looks good. Okay, and now we're just gonna bring this metal shield, we're gonna bring it back up and we're gonna grab our screw from before. We're gonna push down the SSD with our finger. Make sure that middle shielding stays in place. We can adjust it after we screw it in. And we're just gonna use this screw to put it down. You don't need to tighten it very hard. Once it starts to uh, give you resistance, just give it like an extra quarter turn and that's it. We, we don't need to over tighten this, it's totally fine. Uh, perfect. Because what you don't wanna do is strip the screw and you don't wanna damage uh, your motherboard by going too deep. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just shimmy this heat shield just a little bit further up here, and then that's it. That's it, that's, that's the hardest part. Now what we're gonna do is close everything back up. So uh, before we do that, let's replug in our battery, uh, which is very simple. We just take it, we push it here. I use my fingernail typically, but you can use the spudger if you want on the corners. Just give it a little push in. Don't push the actual wire ever. There, you'll get a nice snap, you'll feel it's in. Uh, it won't make a loud noise, but you'll feel the connection. Now uh, we need to reconnect. So now you'll see that there are one, two, three screw holes, and you'll notice also that there's another screw hole here and here. These two you do not wanna screw into. Those are for attaching this through the case screws that we're gonna screw in at the end. Uh, I accidentally did this when reattaching it. I had to put the back on, I had to take it off again. It's, it's a whole thing, you don't wanna do it. Um, so let's take our three screws and put them back in the locations where they were. So we'll start with our bottom left here. You can do it in any order, it doesn't matter. And we'll do the top left. And then I'm gonna do this on the bottom right. Now this is where I said don't get confused. There's this one with the little leg. And then there's also this one that's just got a bare uh, board on it. So you can just do this. And then you're good to go. Looking good. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna replace the back of the case onto here. So, turn it around like so. Uh, everything's looking good. So we're just going to place it on, pick it up, and we're just gonna pop it in. It's all the way on. And then the last part here is we just have to plug all of our screws back in, so. Now, when you're tightening these, 
don't tighten them too much. I already made that mistake with one of them and I've slightly damaged my case. I'm very upset about it, but learn from my mistake. Don't do that. As you tighten it up, you'll feel it start to give you resistance and that's okay. At a certain point, it'll feel like the screwdriver wants to stop on its own. Give it just an extra quarter turn and that's it. Now, if you've already damaged your case like me, it's gonna be a little harder on the screws that were damaged because it won't give you the same kind of feedback and resistance. So for instance here, I'm basically where it should be, but it's still loose. So I'm just going until I start to feel any kind of feedback and I'm stopping because I don't want to damage the case any further. As you're screwing these in, you may notice that you're hearing a little bit more clicking from around the edge of the case. That's just the little uh, connectors for the front and the back of the shell coming together. Nothing to be alarmed of if they're small cracks. Now what I like to do is just go back Give them just a tiny little like one eighth turn just to make sure that they're all uh, definitely in. If it feels like you have to push hard, that don't, don't push hard. Yes, beautiful. Okay, hard part's done. All that you have to do on the last part, and this is what we have our micro SD card for, or you can use a USB-C drive, is we need to now put in the steam recovery image, which uh, I have a link for down below and a guide that you can follow. Uh, it's gonna depend on which platform you're on. I'm on a Mac, you might be on a Windows or a Linux, so they're not the same, so I'm not gonna go into detail here about how to create the image. The instructions are very good though, and once you have that and you have your SD card, you just wanna go ahead and plug this in. And then the next time that you start your Steam Deck, uh, if you've done the battery mode, you'll actually need to plug it into the power. Uh, I didn't because my battery is above 80%. Uh, so I'm just gonna start it now. What you'll do is you press the power button and the plus button again. Also, the first time you start it again after plugging the battery in, it may take a second as it re-energizes the board. Don't worry about it, it's totally normal. The next thing that you'll wanna do is uh, go to the boot manager. And then uh, what you'll basically be doing is starting with your uh, SD card instead of the hard drive that's in there. And then you'll follow the prompts to recover uh, the Steam OS image. It'll basically format the hard drive for you, make it all work. And then after you've gone through all that, you should have a functioning Steam Deck. Just sign in and start downloading games and playing. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the channel and please leave a like below. It helps get this video to the people who need to see it most. And I'll see you in the next one.